Hello guys, this is Dabs Nishmil. Today let's take a look at how to work with user redirects in the login set of tools in WYSIWYG Web Builder. So I already have a project that is built with WYSIWYG Web Builder and I have the login page over here. So I have two accounts which have been created on this particular project or this particular website I should say. Now when I log in with one user account, it's going to take me to a different page and when I log in with the other user account, it is also going to take me to a different page. So to show you what I mean, let me just type my first user account over here. Now when I log in, it's going to take me to this page. There's a video which is going to load over here. So as you can see, we have a video which has been loaded over here. I'm going to log out of this page and I'll continue to log in with the second user account. So I'm back to the login page and I'm going to log in with a second user account. So as you can see, so when I logged in with the second user account, it redirected me to a different page and even if you look in the address bar over here you could see that this is um, user 2 now let me log in log out and uh, log in to the first one again and take a look at it so as you can see we have user 1 so let's take a look at how to achieve this in WYSIWYG Web Builder so I already have opened the final project of my WYSIWYG Web Builder login tools and uh, this is the same project I use for the login set of tools video tutorials so when you come to the site manager, we have our pages being created over here. So you're not going to do anything different to all the pages we have here. And in case you haven't watched the video tutorials on using the login tools, please watch them. So um, what we are going to do next is just come to our account page. And in our login set of tools, we had the uh, protect page being used over here. But in this video, we are not going to use the protect page over here. What I'm going to do next is to create two additional pages. So I'm going to duplicate this page two times. So I'm going to make the first one. I'm going to move this here. I'll change the name of it to user one. I'm going to duplicate it for the second time and I'm going to change the name of this one to user two. So as you can see, we have our two pages over here. Now I'm going to come back to the account home. Now the account home is a page that when any user account logs in, this is the page the user account is supposed to be, um, the user is supposed to be taken to. But in our case, we want a situation whereby when a certain user account or a certain user logs in with a certain username, it should be redirected to either this page or this page. So what we are going to do on the user account home is to come to our login tools and look for the user redirect protect. Um, so let's look for the user redirect. So this is user redirect. We are going to draw over here. Now what we are going to do is to double click on this and configure it. So when you double click on it, um, it says redirect to rules. So we are going to click on add. Now I have two users created on um, in my database. So the first user is admin. And uh, this is where I want admin to be redirected to. I want admin to be redirected to the user, um, user two page. I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now I'm going to click on add again. And I have a user called Dabson, and I would want the user to be redirected to user one page. I'll go ahead and click on OK. So I'm going to go ahead and set my access page. So in case you don't have any user account, the page that you should be taken to, in my case, I'm going to set the login page. So if you don't have a user account, you should be taken to the login page. But if you log in and you have a user account, but you don't have a user account of um, any of the two user accounts I created, that is either admin or Dabson. You should be taken to account home and that is what has been done over here when you come to the login to over here the destination page is the account home that is what has been set over here so if you log in with a right user account it should take you to account home but if you have dabson it should take you to user one page and if you have admin it should take you to user two page now i'm going to come to my user one page and that's what i'm going to do i'll first come to my um media set of tools i'll click on either youtube or any of the tools over here and i'll draw here so i want a situation whereby when um, the user account that has access to user one logs in that user is going to see this particular video over here now I'll come to user two and what i'm going to do over here is to show a test so let me just come to the shape and just draw a test over here i'm sorry a shape over here and let me just come back here and bring a test as well so i'm going to bring about four paragraphs test here so let me just bring four paragraph test here and uh, let me just yeah so i it's expanded as i wanted it let me expand this a little bit more and expand this as well move it this here so i think the position is okay 
Now I'm going to set a master page for these two pages. So I already have a master page created here. I'll right click on an empty space, go to page properties. I'll come to miscellaneous and I'll set my master page. So I have this as my master page. I'll do same for this one as well. Right click on an empty space, go to miscellaneous and um, I'll select a master page. So I'm going to select this as my master page. Now when I'm done, I'm going to come back my, to my user one page and I'll scroll to the login set of two. So when I come to my login set of tools, I'm going to click on protect page and I'm going to draw here. Now I'll double click on this and I'm going to set, um, set my access denied page. So I'm going to use the login as my access denied page and I'm going to switch to the second page that is user two page and I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to click on protect page, draw here and set my access denied page, which is going to be the login page. Now I'm done with what I'm supposed to do. All I need to do is to publish my project. So I'm going to go ahead, hit on the publish button and I'm going to publish it to login tools. So I'm going to hit on my publish icon and uh, my project has been published. Now let me open my browser and take a look at what I did. So I have here opened my browser and I'm going to navigate to my login tools page. So that is it. So we have two buttons over here. One says create an account, one says um, login. So I'm going to login since I already have user account. So I'm going to log in with the Dapsen user account. So let me just log in with my Dapsen user account. And as you can see, it redirected me to the page that has the video. I'm going to log out and log in with the admin user account. And as you can see, it redirected me to the page that has the shape and the test as well. Now let's log out and create a new user account. So let me just come back to the home page and create a new user account. In this case, I'm going to make this um, admin one, admin at one. And um, the username is also going to be admin at one. Now the password is also going to be admin at one, admin at one. And um, my email is admin at domain.com. Now go ahead and create this user account. So my user account has been created. I'll go ahead and click on login. Now let's log in with that user account and see what happens. So admin at one, admin at one. So as you can see, it took us to the normal home page. That is where any user account should be redirected to. But in case you have any special account with a specific or special page that has been attached to your name, that is where you are going to be taken to. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.